Mecha Holster. Reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Really? What are we in the year 7085 and the boys down there at MIT can't come up with any better exotic armor than this? Man, let's see what we can come up with ourselves. What's up, Destiny 2 community? This is F Bodies Live, and today I want to talk about exotic armor, specifically exo exotic armor ideas for the Titan class. Now, I do want to make a video for the other two classes, Warlock and Hunter, but I want to do Titan first because I feel like the Titan exotic armor that's in the game right now is just trashed here. All of it sucks, with the exception of like maybe one, two pieces. The Synthoceps are good and that's about it. All the other ones are pretty subpar. They do a few things cool, but as far as just being really powerful, like Orpheus Rig or the Loon Faction Boots for the Warlock, Titan, the Titan class doesn't have anything super crazy. So I want to throw out some ideas for new exotic armor. These are just perks. I don't have names for most of these. Some of them I do, but most of them I don't have names for the pieces. I don't know which slot they would go in, whether they'd be gauntlets or chest or head or whatever. Um, but this is just straight ideas. Y'all let me know what you what you think of these. Some of these probably need to be tweaked. I tried to balance these the best I could in respect to PvE and PvP both, but I, there's only so much I can do and keep the keep the exotic armor fun and unique. So let's jump into it. Uh, I haven't listed these. I haven't. I don't have these in any particular order. They're just listed literally as I thought of them in my head. I wrote them down, thought about ways they could be balanced, uh, ways they could be tweaked for different activities and whatnot. So first up, I wrote down reduces melee damage and incoming and incoming melee damage builds super energy, negates blackout. So what this would do is that in a normal activity without the blackout modifier you would take a ton of reduced melee damage so like an enemy might melee you and only do 50 percent do half of what it would normally do to you on, on a melee against you and i think this is cool you can as a titan you can get up in somebody's face and, and kind of duke it out with the enemy because we all know that up close melees in this game are pretty crappy so I think this would be a, a good exotic. Now, if Blackout is on, it would basically make it to where you're not one-shotted by Blackout. I think Blackout should still do a pretty good bit of damage to you with the Blackout mod. Maybe like uh, instead of a one-hit kill, it does 75% damage. Uh, also, if you get meleeed, I think it should build a lot of your super energy back. Maybe a, a pretty good, a pretty good chunk if you take a melee with these exotic, this exotic piece on. Second, I thought this was pretty cool but it also could be pretty broken in PvP. You'd have to keep an eye on it. When shields are broken, all damage is increased by 50%. Now, we could we could tweak this a bit, maybe, maybe just do it for primary weapons, or just do it for energy, or just do it for power weapons. Maybe not everything, maybe it could just be class abilities. This would obviously have to be tweaked for PvP. You couldn't have 50% damage increase in PvP. They'd have to tweak the numbers, maybe make it like, a few percentage a, a little bit increase this is more of a PVE thing so like if you get down if you get down to red bar in PVE your all your damage would be increased by 50% I think that's a that's a pretty cool exotic it would be really powerful uh, but it also it, you'd have to it'd be a lot of risk reward because I mean you don't want to push out when you're red bar and about to die so the third one I have I actually came up with a name for this one, you, at least the perk itself. You can call it superhero landing. So jumping with increased height, and this is something else I kind of use to balance it. Maybe you'd have to use increased height, but and jumping with increased height releases an AOE shockwave that also stuns enemies for three to five seconds. So think, imagine like a fist of havoc kind of kind of explosion, but larger and not as damage dealing. Maybe maybe this is more of a stun effect instead of instead of actually damage we could put a little damage in there but but mainly the the priority of this would be to stun enemies just jump up in the air maybe at the top of your jump you have to fall and it creates it creates a big shock wave and you land maybe you could have a cooldown for this like once every minute or two minutes or maybe even 30 seconds i don't know you just have to it'd be one of these things that you would have to test and see how it works out 
Next, I have doing damage with hammers increases its duration. Grants Vulcan rage and explosive pyre. I don't know if that's pyre or pyre, but whatever. This is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think it's too broken in PvP. Uh, would be a good a good buff for the Sunbreaker in PvE. Uh, kind of like the Raiden Flux for the Arc Strider Hunter. Definitely not bad. I'm calling this one Juggernaut. I had two ideas for this. It either procs on melee kills or it procs on close range weapon kills. You could do you could do this totally on close range weapon kills, like with any weapon. Or uh, I had I kind of thought of it more as a sword and shotgun type of exotic. So melee kills or sword and shotgun give you an overshield for one to two seconds. So the reason I did this for such a short time, the idea behind this is to give you a really strong overshield with a melee kill or sword or shotgun. Basically, it's designed to be just like a juggernaut. You're, you're running in, you're mowing enemies down one after the next, and you're, you're trying to do it in quick succession one after the next, and you're getting this one to two second overshield. I don't think it'd be too broken in PvP because the overshield's such a, a small duration. Of one to two seconds but I was thinking the overshield could be really really strong if you're able to get that kill I kind of designed this or had the idea of this more as like a high-end kind of exotic for like a high-end type mission or strike or PvE activity next this one I had the idea for it's more of a striker Titan piece and I need to put a note in there that it only works on an arc subclass take an arc damage builds a static charge that heals nearby allies. The more damage you take, the greater this effect. So I don't know how many seconds this could be for, two or three, something tiny. Uh, I think you would have to be fairly close for this to proc. I wouldn't want it to be too powerful in relation to some of this other stuff because, I mean, that's pretty strong. If you're getting a, just being near your teammate allows you to be healed. So I think you'd have to you'd have to be fairly close to proc this unless the Titan just really took like tons and tons down. Like you got a sliver of, of a red bar left. I think it should heal fairly well. And I don't think it should heal the Titan himself, just just his allies. So next. This one I uh, had the idea for. It's kind of based off the sound uh, Saint what is it? Saint 13, Saint 13 helmet, the one that blinds in the bubble. So I call this one Saint's Light. Kills with power weapons emit a blinding flash that stuns enemies for three seconds. So if you kill an enemy with a power weapon, it does like a blinding flash and it blinds enemies in a certain radius. Don't know how big this radius would be. That would be up to the people who make the game, <laughs> Bungie. But uh, let me know what y'all think about that. How, how big is the radius? I don't know, maybe 10 meters, 15, maybe 15 is too much. Maybe just five, maybe just five meters be more balanced. Next, power weapon multi-kills. I didn't want to stress the multi-kill here because I threw in multi-kills because it balances or balances it for PvP more. Power weapon multi-kills increase reload speed and rate of fire of primary and energy weapons. You could do this for power weapons too, but I, I kind of thought that that was maybe a little bit too broken for both PvE and PvP. I think it should just affect your, your energy and primary weapons, or maybe you just do just one or the other. Maybe it just affects your primary or just affects your energy. Who knows? Next, grenade grenade hits give melee energy and overcharge your melee ability, giving your melee massive damage for an extended period of time. I said eight seconds here. Melee suck in this game. Like any kind of like high level content, melees are you melee's like a last resort. The enemy's gotta have like nothing to kill them. And this was kind of my idea of to fix that. I wanted to make these all these exotics kind of fit a wide variety of different play styles and utilize each part of the classes. So maybe grenades, grenade hits is a little too strong for PvP so I could we could change that to grenade kills. You actually have to kill somebody with a grenade to give your melee that, that, that overcharged melee. And I don't think it, it wouldn't be a one hit in PvP of course. Right, that would be way too broken. Uh, and I don't think it should do as much damage as the Synthoseps do in PvP. Now in PvE, it should do like tons of damage. Uh, I'm talking, I mean you ought to be able to go up to a, a full health yellow bar knight and like do 75% of his health bar in one punch at least for this to be even viable compared to some of these other ones that I've listed. 
All right, next, this is a Sentinel Titan exotic, and I thought this one was pretty cool. Maybe a little broken, but that's kind of the idea. We want to feel powerful. We want to feel good in PvE. That's what makes this game fun. Blocking with Sentinel Shield extends its duration and overcharges your shield throw and shield bash. Now, here, here's the good part. See, that, that's good, but I want to throw in the second good part. Also increases allied damage for the duration of the super. Now, you could do this a little different, a couple different ways. You could say... Uh, it only it only increases damage while the Titan is blocking and actually getting hit with damage. I like that idea better. I like that the the it, it kind of promotes the Sentinel Titan like lore, I guess. You're out there, you have this big shield, and you're not blocking for everybody. You're on the front lines, you're you're taking damage, and while everybody's kind of behind you and they're shooting the target or whatever. I like that idea better. That you're you're out there with your shield and you throw your shield up and you're blocking like you know there's like three yellow bar night boomers and they're just blasting you. And you're just blocking all of it. And the more damage you take, the more damage your allies are able to dish out. I like that better. So another Sentinel Titan uh, exotic that I wanted to do. This one, this is basically just a copy of Destiny 1. World of Dawn generates copious amounts of orbs the more damage it takes. So we got the Orpheus Rig Hunter out there. He tethers and makes like 30 million orbs. I kind of wanted to, to give something for the Titan that would allow them to do that as well. So throw your bubble out, protects people, it make, generates a lot of orbs. Maybe this is a little weak compared to the other ones. Maybe you could give some other types of buffs uh, along with this. That might make it a little more fair. I don't. This is not broken in PvP at all. People are not going to shoot your bubble. Uh, maybe they will. They're, they're, they're more prone to do it in Destiny 2 than they were in Destiny 1 because you can actually break the bubble. Uh, next, kills while behind a barricade grants overshields for you and allies. I don't know how many seconds. I, I think it should be like a good bit of seconds. This is not broken, I don't think, in PvP. I don't see many people getting kills while behind the barricade. Your barricade is normally more for like defensive purposes, like you're getting about to get your ass blown off and you're like, oh, throw a barricade up. So I think it would work with either barricade, the tall one or the short one. You just have to, in PvE, you just have to be shooting enemies from the side because you obviously you can't see over the barricade. So, uh, the last couple here that I have, this is a Hammer Titan uh, exclusive here. Each hammer thrown causes more damage. Multi-kills create larger explosions. Pretty self-explanatory. So, each hammer that you're throwing, this is, I, I'm thinking of this as more of like a boss melter, kind of, kind of exotic. You throw one hammer, it does a certain amount, and then you throw the second, and it increases, and, you, and so on and so forth. So if you're just sitting there spamming hammers at the boss, like each one does more damage. And then you can all, I threw in the multi-kills, because if you're throwing it on ads, maybe that's just a way to, to where you can actually see the effects of the, the super. I don't like exotics that are just super related, because like, yeah, you get your super a fair amount now, but still, it, you're just it's just good when you have your super. So uh, the exotics I have in here that are activated with supers, I wanted them to feel pretty powerful and pretty strong. So last one that I have, this is more of a Striker Titan, or this is a Striker Titan exotic. Provides trample and terminal velocity. Multi-kills increase the radius of the actual damage dealing wake that it leaves. So I don't think this is too broken in PvP. You gotta get multi-kills. And I think with each, maybe each multi-kill you get increases the radius more and more. So PvP, I mean, maybe you get, I mean, even if you get all four at one time, they're going to have to respawn by that point. Fist of Havoc will be close to being out. But this, so, it's not too broken, I don't think, for PvP. It would be super fun in PvE. You go in, you smash two or three enemies, and then you smash another two or three, and the, and the radius gets larger and larger. And Trample's a cool, super cool perk. But it, but it's in the tree that, I don't know, the, they split all the good Striker Titan abilities up into the two trees, so you have to like pick and choose, and this is just a way to get all the good stuff, you know, on the Titan, on the Striker Titan all at once. So those are my thoughts on increasing the the Titans' exotic armor capabilities. I want to do one now. I am a Titan fanboy, of course, but. I do want to make one for the Hunter and the Warlock too, because their exotics suck too. They just have like a couple that are like viable, whereas whereas the Titan has all of its exotics, other than like one or two, just totally suck. So I do want to I do want to make one for the other two classes. 
depending on the reception from this video. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Helps the channel. All right, we'll see you next time.